surplus as per the valuation balance sheet is 1 lakh 50 thousand add interior bonus 30 thousand it becomes 1 lakh 80 thousand 95 percent policy holder minus interior bonus 30 thousand balance is 1 lakh 11 thousand 550 there is a final bonus payable to policy holder surplus as per the balance sheet add interior bonus 60,000 minus profit carried forward should be added minus dividend that should be added to surplus is 13 lakh 70,000. Hello my dear students I am Dr. B.S. Subramanian called by name Dr. B.S.S. Professor in Commerce and Management with Yashram First Aid College a temple of excellence Mysuru. Today in this session I am going to hand Corporating Accounting to Four Semester Unit 2 Session 2 in favor of Accounting for Life Insurance where I am going to divide the entire group into two groups. Yesterday in the last session I told you regarding one is the valuation of balance sheet under the final account of life insurance company. In the last session we have solved about the two problems. In this session I am going to solve about the three problems on valuation of balance sheet. As per the University of Mysore, they kept aside about 10 months for this. We'll move on to problem now. This is the problem. A life insurance fund of Narayana Assurance Company was 42,40,000 on 31 December 2020. Its net liability was 40,90,000 under the assurance and interior bonus of rupees 30,000 was paid to the policy holder. The two year period ending on 31 December 2000. Now it is proposed to carry forward rupees 31,000 and divide the balance between the policy holder and the shareholder. In the last session, I told you what are the steps you have to follow. The first step, you have to calculate the surplus. That is, first one, life fund at the end, valuation of balance sheet, life fund at the end, that is a credit file. On the credit side, you have to write life fund at the end, debit side, you have to write net liability, whatever the reference come, that is the surplus. Second thing, for a surplus, you have to add interior bonus, profit should be carried for, for next year, minus dividend, whatever the difference come, that is the true surplus. Then in the third step, you have to divide the true surplus among the policy holder and the shareholder. 95% goes to policy holder, 5% goes to shareholder. Last, Final bonus payable to policy order, 95% what we have calculated out of that interior bonus should be deducted. The balance goes to final balance to policy holder. Same thing here. Here, your fund is 42,40,000. Your net liability is 40,90,000 is there now. Your fund is 42,40,000 and uh, what's your net liability is 40,40,000. So, first we have to prepare valuation of balance sheet. Valuation of balance sheet this is step number one liabilities rupees assets rupees What's your life fund? 42,40,000 life fund. 42,40,000 net liability. Net liability. 40,90,000. Means out of the fund. We have to pay how much money? 40 lakh 90,000. Bring out the difference. This is 42 lakh 40,000. Deduct 0. This is 1 lakh 50,000. Is the surplus. So out of fund, we have to pay a net liability of 40,90,000. Surplus is 1,50,000. So step number two, calculate true surplus, particular surplus. Your surplus is 1,50,000 plus interior bonus of 30,000 is there. 
minus profit carried forward any profit in interim bonus is there now it is proposed to carry forward 31000 carry forward 31000 0 0 0 this is 9 1 lakh 41 9000 minus dividend there is no dividend nil once again it is 1 lakh 49000 this is your true surplus. So, surplus as per the valuation balance sheet is 1,50,000. Add interior bonus 30,000. It becomes 1,80,000. Minus profit carry forward is 31,000. It becomes 1,49,000. Then dividend is not given. Nil. Once again, the true surplus becomes 1,49,000. Step number 3. Distribution of surplus, distribution of surplus, 95% to policy holders, what's your amount, 1,49,000 into 95 divided by 100, 1,49,000 into 95 divided by 100. So it is 96,850. I will repeat, 1,49 into 95 divided by 100, 1,41,550. Then, 5% to policy holder, 1,49,000 into 5 by 100, 1,49 into 5 divided by 100, 7,450. So, 95% goes to 1,41,550 goes to policy holder, 5% 7,450 goes to, this is your, this goes to shareholders. So, 95% to policy holder, 5% to shareholders, 1,49,5 by 107,450. Now, final bonus to, last one, step 4. Final bonus to policy holder ninety five per cent to policy holder ninety five per cent works out one lakh forty one five fifty. Already interior, minus interior bonus, already paid, minus interior bonus, how much already paid, 30,000, deduct, 0, 5, 5, 1, 1, 1. So, one like final bonus. So, here, 95% goes to policy holder, 5% goes to shareholders. So, shareholder gets 5%, policy holder gets 95%. So, 7,450. Then, 95% to policy holder is 1,41,550. Minus interior bonus is already paid, 30,000. Balance final bonus paid to 1,11,550. So, what are the steps we follow? First is life fund. Find out the surplus. For a surplus, interior bonus should be added. Profit carried forward should be deducted. Dividend should be deducted. Finally, is the true surplus. Among the true surplus, 95% goes to policy order. 5% goes to shareholders. Okay. The final bonus to policy order, 95% to policy holder. Minus interior bonus, 30,000. Balance is 1,11,550. There is a final bonus payable to policy holder.
hope you have followed next second problem a life insurance fund of kumar assurance company was 62 lakh 40000 net liability is 50 lakh 90000 under the assurance an interim bonus of rupees 60000 was paid to the policy holder the, the two years period ending on 31 december now it is proposed to carry forward 40000 and divide the balance between the policy holder and shareholder same thing step number 1 valuation of balance sheet valuation of balance sheet liabilities rupees assets rupees What is your life fund? Sixty-two lakh forty thousand life fund. What is your amount? Sixty-two lakh forty thousand net liability. Net liability fifty lakh ninety thousand. Direct sixty-two lakh forty thousand, fifty lakh ninety thousand. If we minus this balance surplus, so sixty-two lakh forty thousand. Sixty-two forty followed by three zero minus five zero nine zero followed by three zero one two three so eleven lakh fifty thousand. This is your true surplus. So carry for fifty lakh sixty-two lakh sixty-two lakh forty thousand. Out of that you deduct. Fifty-two lakh ninety thousand. What is the balance? Come over eleven lakh fifty thousand, which is considered as a true sub. There is your surplus. Now step number two: calculation now. True surplus. Particulars. Rupees surplus. What's your surplus? You are having eleven lakh fifty thousand. Add interim bonus. What's your interim bonus? You got here. Add interim bonus. Sixty thousand. Add the figure. Twelve lakh ten thousand minus profit carried forward. That's forward for the next year. Profit carried forward next year. How much carry forward here? This carry forward is forty thousand. Deduct. So twelve lakh ten thousand deduct. So thirteen lakh seventy thousand minus dividend. Any dividend is there? See that there no dividend. No, there is no dividend at all. Nil. Once again, is thirteen lakh seventy thousand. This is the true surplus. So what is step surplus as per the balance sheet? Add interim bonus sixty 
60,000 minus profit carried forward should be added minus dividend that should be deducted to surplus is 13 lakh 70,000 step number 3 calculation of so first step valuation balance sheet second step is over calculation of distribution policy holder ninety five percent or sir true surplus thirteen lakh seventy thousand into ninety five divided by hundred ninety five percent goes to policy holder thirteen lakh seventy thousand into ninety five divided by hundred one three zero one five followed by zero thirteen lakh one thousand five hundred shareholders five percent thirteen lakh seventy thousand into five by hundred thirteen lakh seventy one two three into Five divided by hundred, sixty-eight five hundred. So total it will come thirteen lakh seventy thousand. So policy holder gets thirteen lakh one thousand five hundred, sixty-eight thousand five hundred goes to shareholder. Now step four, final balance to. Final balance to policy holder particular rupees. How much? Ninety five percent. Ninety five percent of surplus. Thirteen lakh one thousand five hundred. Thirteen lakh one thousand five hundred to be paid. Already paid minus interim bonus. Already paid minus interim bonus. How much already paid? Sixty thousand is already paid. Deduct five hundred one twelve lakh. Forty-one thousand five hundred is final bonus to policy holder. Totally, we have to pay thirteen lakh one thousand five hundred. How much already paid? Sixty thousand. With the final bonus to payable, twelve lakh forty-one thousand five hundred to be paid. Hope you have followed. Third problem: a life insurance fund of Rajesh Insurance Company was fifty lakh. And the net liability was thirty five lakh. Under the assurance, an interim bonus of rupees eighty thousand was paid to the policy holder. The two years ending on thirty five. Now it is proposed to carry forward sixty thousand and divide the balance between the policy holder shareholder dividend on rupees twenty lakh at ten percent. Same steps to be followed now. First is step number one. Valuation of balance sheet. Liabilities. Rupees. Assets. Rupees. Or is a life fund fifty lakh life fund started with life fund fifty lakh we have got a fund the life assurance fund has a fund amount of fifty lakh the net liability was thirty five lakh net liability 
35 lakh to be payable. The fund available is 15 lakh, the net liability is 35 lakh. Deduct 50 lakh. So the balance is 15 lakh. This is your surplus. So out of 50 lakh, the net liability payable is only 35 lakh. How much excess is there? 15 lakh is the surplus. Step number two. Calculation of Calculation of true surplus. Calculation of true surplus. Particulars rupees. Ah, what's your surplus? 15 lakh. Ah, what's the next step to do? Add back interim bonus. What's your interim bonus here? 80,000 plus interim bonus already paid. Why should we added this one now? To know the real surplus, that's all. 80,000 is already paid. So the real figure is 15 lakh, 80,000. So real figure is 15 lakh, 80,000. How much already paid? 80,000. How much available? 15 lakh. How much profit carried forward? Policy holder. And now it is proposed to carry forward 60,000 minus profit carried forward. Carried forward. Your profit carried forward is 60,000. Deduct. This is 15,20,000. Minus dividend to be paid to shareholder. What's the dividend he says? 20 lakh 10 percent. 20 lakh into 10 by 100. It is 2 lakh. The difference is 13 lakh 20,000. This is the true surplus. So surplus 15 lakh. Add back interior bonus 80,000, 15 lakh 80,000, minus profit carried forward is 60,000, deduct. Next, dividend 2 lakh to be payable, deduct. The balance available to true surplus is only 13 lakh 20,000 only. Step number 3, distribution of surplus. So, 95% to policy holder, 13,20,000 into 95 divided by 100, 13,20,000 into 95 divided by 100, 12,54,000. Twelve lakh fifty-four thousand. Five percent to shareholders. Thirteen lakh twenty thousand into five by hundred. Thirteen lakh twenty followed by three zero one two three into five divided by hundred. So sixty-six thousand. So totally it will work out 13 lakh 20. Then last step, step number four. What's the last step to be followed? Final bonus to policy holder. This is the last step. Final bonus to policy holders. 
पर्टिक्युलर रूपीज हियर वॉट इज योर नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ट्रू सरप्लेस नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ ट्रू सरप्लेस इट विल वर्क आउट ट्वेल्व लैख फिफ्टी फोर थाउजेंड टू बी पेएबल माइनस ऑलरेडी पेड माइनस इंटीरियम बोनस ऑलरेडी पेड How much interim bonus paid? Eighty thousand. Deduct three zero four. Eleven lakh seventy four thousand. This is final bonus to policy holder. So ninety five percent goes to. Policy holder out of that how much already paid eighty thousand the balance is not eleven lakh seventy four thousand is payable to policy holder. So in this session we solved about the three problems. So I think you understand different problem from the examination of point of view. In the last session we solved about the two problem. This session we solved about the three problems you have solved almost everything. What is your format? Life fund at the end. Minus net liability balance it the surplus. What is the next step to be followed for a surplus? No, interim bonus should be added. Profit carried forward should be directed. Dividend should be directed. That is the true surplus. Ninety-five percent goes to policy holder. Five percent goes to shareholder. Out of ninety-five percent, whatever the interim bonus is already paid, that should be directed. That is the final bonus payable to policy holder. Hope you understand definite problem for ten marks from the examination of point of view. Thank you. Thank you once again. We'll meet in the next session with final accounts of life insurance company for fifteen months. First, I will give the format and explain. Then we'll go to problem. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next class with final accounts of life insurance company.